That black your magic. That black your magic. That black your magic. Magic, magic. Black your magic. That black your magic. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samaya and I'm back again with another video. I know I've been gone for a little bit of time and I'm, I'm just really taking time to dedicate it because I had a lot of stuff going on and I know I say that every time that I come back for a video, but I'm, I'm working on setting out specific times so I can make sure that I'm getting videos out consistently for you guys. Speaking of that, this video was actually the idea for this video came from one of my own subscribers which I love when you guys ask me questions and try to ask me to do videos because it just makes me feel less awkward about you know sitting alone in my room talking to myself so um, today's video is going to be all about budgeting and how to reach financial independence when you're in college or wherever you are in life these tips can benefit you so I have about five tips here for you, but there's like little tips um, in between each of those. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first tip I have for you guys is to make sure you're always studying and upping your knowledge on just finance. And I'm sure you're wondering like, why is that important? You just put money aside and you're good to go. But the reason I say this is you always want to be up in your knowledge because there's always something you don't know, something you can prove, something that can make your life easier when it comes to budgeting, saving money, and just growing your income so you can reach financial independence. And by doing that, you can do a range of different things to study. You can learn from your parents if they are financially stable, but not all people's parents are. And then another thing you can do is watch TED Talks of entrepreneurs because everything is a business and you know, learning business skills is something that you can do in every occupation to make sure you're able to secure that bag. And another thing that you can do is I watch YouTube videos too of other YouTubers who are entrepreneurs or people who are just up on their business knowledge and I'm constantly learning new information. Like just today I was watching a YouTube video and I think her channel name is like Erin On Demand. And she was talking about just a lot of different things but one of the things that stuck with me and was when she said you need to either increase your income or you need to decrease your expenses and that really stuck with me because even though it sounds common sense and just really simple to like understand it was the way she said it that really resonated with me and the fact that oh this is like really simple and there's a lot of different ways that you can be able to meet those needs by doing this and you know increasing your income can be either like well there can be a lot of ways to do this but you can like get a new job that has better compensation and helps you all around or you can do things like you know adding other side hustles but you know that can be a lot of difficult because a lot of those things take a lot of time take a lot of energy and you have to still be able to do those in a healthy way and so the other thing it's a little bit easier to be able to manage that because this is something that you are in complete control over and this is decreasing your expenses and a lot of that has to do with knowing how to budget and balance those things and you know just constantly upping your knowledge and getting new information every day about businesses is what I mean by this and it's very important and can make your life a lot easier okay so my second tip is to make sure you have discipline and when I mean discipline this means understanding your needs versus your wants and a need is something that you have to have to be able to survive and make it in life. So for example, you need to have your lights on, you need to have a house over your head, and you need to have a car or some form of transportation to be able to get around and do the things that you need to do. Excuse my dog, she was just sneezing. But wants are usually things that you don't necessarily need to survive, but they're nice things to have. So, you know, expensive luxury clothes, a Mercedes-Benz car, these are different wants that you might have. And understanding discipline is understanding needs versus wants and where your priorities are because this is honestly the hardest part for most people is having discipline and knowing when to cut off their wants and understanding their wants are not always needs and it's okay to have wants and it's important to make sure you're doing things that make you happy but you also have to have discipline to not always be spending and taking money out of your pocket 
Okay, so this brings me into my third tip. This is having plans and goals. And this makes it a little bit easier for you to balance your wants and your needs and bridge the gap to, between the two so you have a fulfilled life. And so something that you want to pay attention to is creating goals and plans that are attainable for you. Because it's very easy to say, I want a car, so I'm going to save, you know, $16,000. Well, that's a lot of money and it can be very hard to put that much money away from something that you need or something that you want in life. And so by creating plans and writing them out, it allows you to create a concept and give a timeline for how you're going to complete this goal. And it makes it a lot easier to have discipline. Like if you know you want to save for this, okay, well, I can't eat out all the time because that's one of the quickest ways to lose your money is spending money on things that you don't really need and it can run out your money a lot. And eating out is something that hits a lot of college students because you know you don't always feel like cooking, it can be very hard, it's tiring, you don't want to do it, but it can drain your finances out very quickly. And so one of the ways that you can do this and be able to understand and see how to manage your finances is to create an Excel spreadsheet. And I love this because it's something that my mom taught me how to do. And it allows you to one, create formulas so it calculates it for you and you're not constantly having to hand write out the formulas. And you can copy and paste it and just insert all the formulas and stuff. And so you can see all the expenses that you have with paying the bills, paying taxes, all those kinds of things. And you can write those things out so you know those things. And then you can budget out too, you know, how to put in some of the things that you want. Like, you know, say, give yourself a treat, like having a time where you get nails done or going out with a friend, but not have budgeting it out so that you can have it balanced enough to where you can afford to do these things. So my fourth tip is that you want to make sure you're balancing and not sacrificing because doing this is one of the quickest ways for you to lose all the progress that you've made with trying to save. And the reason that I say this is because it's kind of like binge eating. It's a lot easier to slowly add increments in of eating healthy if you have a poor diet than it is to say, I'm gonna cut junk food off cold turkey, I'm gonna stop. It's a lot harder to change your diet because then you're gonna suddenly crave junk food and then you binge eat all this food rather than trying to slowly get yourself, you know, adjusted to making these different changes. And these are the same things that you want to apply to your finance is making sure you're making the same slow incremental changes so you're constantly building that ability to save. So then when you have a large sum of money you can understand how to budget because you have more money. So the main point of this is you don't want to be budgeting for, you don't want to be saving tomorrow and not living for today because then you're living unfulfilled and you're not doing the things that make you happy. And so you're more likely to say, well, I know I'm saving for this car, but let me spend $200 to go shopping. Or I can spend a little money today, like it's only $10, I can spend that going out to eat. And that hurts you in the long run. Like you don't always have to say no to things that make you happy, but it is important to understand the difference between balance and sacrifice. And so that's part of going back to that Excel spreadsheet where you want to budget out some of those things that make you happy in your finances so you have some room for cushion so you know even if something bad or negative happens then you know the money that you were saving you can fall on that and say well you know I wouldn't want to spend my money on this but I kind of have to and you have the room to do that so the other thing that I want to mention is being able to make balances so if you also know that you want to take some time to you know indulge yourself and spend a little money on yourself make sure you're catching some sales so it's a little cheaper and you're not always spending you know the highest amount because you're saving a little bit of money but on the other side of that you don't want to be just spending for the sake of spending because you said it's on sale I'm saving money because if you're constantly doing that it's kind of ineffective right so the fifth tip that I have for you guys is just to make sure that you're paying attention to your own life there's different little lessons that you're going to learn about finances. If you're constantly making the same habits over and over again, 
then at some point you need to make a change to make it better to grow to develop and you'll notice different hacks or you know you can learn it from other people so I don't want to get too redundant but if there are any things that you want me to kind of go more in depth about as it pertains to talking about different subjects that I mentioned or anything that I didn't cover in this video please let me know in the comments below but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this video was helpful so thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye Oh, trying to grab a bit. That black yo magic. That black yo magic. That black yo magic. That black yo magic.